All right, baby, we're good to go. We're recording. Alrighty. You want to pop this off, Mr. Mint Mad Cow? All righty, guys. Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape related topics. And I am one of your hosts, Mint Mad Cow, followed by the very untimely. <laughs> I'm Rick. See, guys. Good to see you guys again. Hello, it's me again. Rice, uh, cup. rice cup and then yeah. we got our guy manked up mage thanks for joining us man on the big screen man look at that look at him he's beautiful oh, dude. dude this is i don't know this is pleasant on the eye to see this i have to just call him out <laughs> solo mission is not half as good to look at than you manx uh, there you have it much more friendlier presence to be honest yeah, you know yeah. solo's kind of like Ooh, don't shoot me you know yeah uh, <laughs> Solo what missions, about, you know, boy, I'm a dude, man. I'm just going to say it though, but I'm solo a... missions like, you know, potentially could sleep with your sister, whereas Manx, he's a good mate of yours, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, he's <laughs> trustworthy. Yeah. He's going to steal Wait, your girlfriend and all that. <laughs> or your own bed. You just, yeah, you wouldn't know when you wake up and be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the comparison, man, you know? I, I see. Uh, okay, so we brought Manx on to talk about how RuneScape is trying to turn itself into an esport who better to bring than somebody who's actually won a championship so i just got to tell you man when you won that championship dude how did that feel in front of like so many people you know the wook solo win it was a mixed feeling because the guy who technically won was in my team as well so when i heard that he was disqualified i was like oh no because basically <laughs> what happened was um i don't know it just kind of ruined everything because they would have won i would have come second that would have been like a good feeling but then they got disqualified so i felt quite bad for them so it took away ah. the oh yeah it was, it was a little weird was that the one who got disqualified yeah. for splashing yeah it was splashing. Crazy. yes okay it, yeah it was awesome like the event was crazy between every fight the crowds are just chanting manx up mage it was pretty cool Dude. um it was an awesome yeah. atmosphere like those events were always so sick and yeah no it was really cool it was it was uh, i was really tired that day surprisingly so i don't know i think that helped the nerves because i wasn't as nervous because i was super tired but yeah it was good were you drinking anything at the time were you no i was, <laughs> no. I was staying sober i was drinking water i had to smart I had banana, but... when you looked over did you see bodhi drinking any wait was bodhi <laughs> <laughs> no no i don't think he was He's usually double fisting so i don't know man <laughs> yeah, dude I, who was Rari. there playing that time? Who was on the uh, the stage with you? I can't remember. I think Curtis was there. Curtis is yeah, always there, so he's yeah. usually yeah. I, yeah, I can't remember. Curtis is drinking. No, I've never I don't seen think Curtis drink. No, yeah. I, I think know. one of the first Devil Mode events, Robert was there dressed as a penguin, and he got so drunk, like ridiculously drunk, while we were doing the event. I kept on being sober. <laughs> he was just drinking. It was just like, wait, wait, was he, was he in the event or was he just watching? Yeah. No, he was part of the event. <laughs> <laughs> I had Bodhi next to me and he was screaming. Like, you know how energetic he is in his streams? Yeah. Like, at that yeah. Moment, final hour, he was screaming. So everyone could hear him through my mic as well. So he was like, what are you doing? And then he had Robert on the other side, completely drunk. It might be night night in there for that one. Uh, I think it was us four for that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was on for uh, one, uh, actually, yeah. That's, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah that's, like, ran that's like, oh, random. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. <laughs> I would be doing what he's doing, though. I don't blame Robert. I mean, yeah, he I knows really his skill level, right? He's, he's... Dude, uh, Ro <laughs> Robert's probably, yeah. like, my favorite streamer to watch in demo mode in the first few hours when he just goes and kills, like, the lobster fishers and stuff. Like, Dude, that I shit is entertaining. It. I enjoy With watching that. He hasn't done that in a while, though. That was like the first couple tourneys, and he, I don't, I don't think I've seen him do that. Yeah, that was it's a lot super more difficult because of yeah. how things change. Like the cap, everyone has their prayers really fast, so you just can't really do it. So yeah, he's tough doing it, I think. Oh, yeah, feels well, bad, man. Hopefully next one, dude. You just gotta have a plan set. Yeah. Uh, well, um, viewership that's looking here, we're gonna be talking about the different tournaments because if you didn't know, RuneScape just doesn't have Dead Memo tournament. They also have the All Stars, which is really brand new. Uh, they have a PVM tournament, which wasn't really a cash prize, I don't believe. King of the Skill. So even Skillers have a tournament, which was actually done really well, in my opinion. And then yeah. they had the 1v1, 5v5, 20p20 20 PvP championship. It was one of my favorite things to watch. What's, what was your guys, if you did watch that, what was your favorite to watch out of those? Um, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, mate. Uh, I'm not much of a skiller, so I, I didn't watch any of the skill of the 
the hill or whatever it was called. I, I don't even know what it was called. I like the strategy, but I couldn't watch yeah. the strategy. Yeah, I, I like the idea of it. I, I truly did, but I personally didn't watch. I may have watched a bit of Wooks doing like some crazy like ten tick fishing or some shit in Lumbridge, uh -huh. and I just like wow, this guy's Who getting is, crazy right? XP. Yeah, but, I watched. One. Yeah, that's pretty much the most of it. To be fair. I Holy always shit. say it for the Dev Mo Championship, especially since they brought the one v ones in. Oh my god, those are those are spicy, dude. I yeah. love those. I, I, when Mika goes all the way, I always, you know, I draw Mika on my chest, you know, get naked. <laughs> dude, a hundred percent, man. I think like something that I'd like to speak about, and I know we discussed it, is how we feel about RuneScape moving forward as a potential oh. esport, and like how we feel, and if it is to be successful. So, what are your guys like, Manx? What's your opinion on RuneScape being an esport in the future, or how it currently is? I think it's getting to the point where, that if they keep on doing more tournaments, more people will see that and kind of be like, "Oh, it actually could be one." Because every demo mode, it keeps on growing in in uh, viewer numbers. Uh, the tournaments themselves keep on getting better as well. Uh, they're still fixing stuff. So, I think long term, yeah, we could have loads of different events. And it could be like a proper esport game, you know? Yeah. So I, I will chip in on that. I, I do agree because I didn't qualify for this tournament. I, I swear on my life, dude. I went to bed at stupid o'clock in the morning. I was smashing my account out, stupid o'clock in the morning. Woke up like four hours later, still didn't make it. I didn't make it by like two total levels. And I was so gutted because I was like, I really wanted to play in that tournament. And I was invited to play on stage as well, which I would have been with you. So I didn't make it by like two friggin' levels. And I was just like sat there thinking Definitely those the chat boys. Dude, the, dude, I was like those horrible PKs. I was like the horrible PKs that killed me when I was doing mining in Varrock and set me back. I was just like I was fuming, man. I went I went to bed. I was just like, I'm done. I don't even think I logged into RuneScape that day. I just played like League of Legends all day. I was like, I'm done with this game at the moment. I was so fucking tilted, man. Uh, yo, that's the right qualify for a tourney yet, dude. League of Legends. Yeah, yeah man. League of Legends game through a lot. <laughs> and then I probably <laughs> lost a bunch of ranks on there, and I was just like tilted out of my mind. It was it was a bad day. I'll say that it wasn't enjoyable. I had too. a bad day. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I don't know. Like RuneScape itself, like the viewership is going up per <laughs> tournament, and they're getting more creative with their prizes and how they're doing it and the layouts, but. My worry is that at TwitchCon, literally, people walked out like $2 million, 800 k 25 grand prize, $400,000 for the Dorito Bowl, right? These are numbers that aren't even on the tippity-top of a tournament scale. And if RuneScape wants to even become slightly like an eSport, it seems that sharing $10,000 with like 40 people doesn't seem to be really something people want to talk about. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. I think I mean, about it. And that's like a month, like a week's worth, too. Like, that's a, a week of grinding for that. Yeah, yeah, but think about this. You know, a lot of people have different opinions of what makes eSport, right? Could it be how much money you get, how many people watch, or, like, the, the, the structure of the championship? Like, what do you, what do you guys well, think? I could almost barter that uh, you don't just get money, you get also um, a lot of fame. <clears throat> like, Minx, you blew up when you won that first tournament, didn't you? I mean, yeah, I saw your yeah. Twitter, I saw your other stuff, because you've been making content for a while, and that actually quite helped you. So if you are somebody in the community that makes content, it might be more well worth for you. But I'm going to imagine if you're yeah. just some random player but, trying to make some cash. Well, what, I, what I'm saying is, what 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 do you think makes up a real e You know, what qualifies Making as a shit real tons of money. Well, like, all right. Regular I, 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 I think for me, when it comes to, like, what makes an eSport... So, typically, in, like... When I think of eSports, I think of Counter-Strike Source, I think... Or Global Offensive. I think of uh, League of Legends, Dota, etc. Huge viewer audience, you know. When they, when they stream it, they have hundreds of thousands of people watching. But I think the key thing is that it's taken seriously because the people who are playing in those tournaments are the best of the best. And that's not taken away from any of the players that play on stage for demo mode, such as Manked, or if I was to go there, because I know for a fact I ain't the best of the best. And I, you know, I know Max a very good hybrid, but I know there's a lot of people that don't even make videos that are fucking amazing, right? Yeah, they're so, crazy out there. Like, for me personally, I think it just comes down to how good the players are who take part in the tournament. Well, that's my opinion yeah. on it. 
Okay. That's what so... I'm saying though. Like I agree in a way, but like the people who play esports, they can live off esports. They don't have to make videos on the side. Whereas RuneScape esports, um, I don't see anyone living off that unless they're making videos, streaming on the side. Like they're not a regular player; they're a content creator. Right? Okay. So, so what are you guys saying off. is, what makes a, a an esport esport is you have people that are the best in the game, and also they're able to, to live off it. To live off of it. Just That's train neat. every day. Just be able to compete without worrying about. I mean, imagine, man. What if you never made a stream, never made a video, and you lived off like getting invited to these one v ones, five v fives? Wouldn't that make you feel like you are more of an esport or an athlete in a way in this game? I, I don't, I don't think so. Like for me, I think the whole esport scene is how many people kind of watch, and I think we've hit like seventy five thousand people watching us. Okay, that's insane, isn't it? Yeah, that is and nuts. Then, <laughs> that um, is that is really awesome for the community, to be honest. And then also you have to remember, for games like CSGO, COD, the other games we're talking about, they've been established for quite a while in the esports scene. Yeah. So I think we're, we're still early days, and in the future what you've said could happen, you never know. Oh, I so, completely agree. Yeah. That, that's yeah. why I think Viewership, it's the road we're going. money, potential, and skill set, right? Those three things. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, like, yeah, makes, we're not there yet. It looks like it's more like a fun little charitable tournament. <clears throat> yeah, I, 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 game grow. Not really like pushes it out of its yeah. next layer. It seems though. as though it's like a seasonal trend, right? Because they do seasonal demo mode. The only yeah. people only start taking it seriously when it when it comes close to that time. Yeah. And like, you know, start seeing well, people like if we're looking towards the future of the tournaments though, I mean I'd imagine they have a set budget to fly people out, make the tournaments cash mm-hmm. prizes, but RuneScape and their budget has been growing year after year. So I'm wondering next year are we gonna see a bigger budget for well mobile like this? Mobile right. should in the cash. No yeah. <laughs> so there's a few yeah. really good things that you guys have just said that I can take away from that. I think you're very right in the fact that those other games are way more established than the esports. They've been around a lot longer, etc. Like, for example, with Demo Mode, it's it's been a bit of a fiesta the past few seasons <laughs> simply because of, like, things which shouldn't be happening. Like, there was the, um, what was it? It was a bit of a glitch or whatever where there were too many people in one spot and people would just d- disconnect, but you'd still be there. Yeah. Like, that was only dealt with about three tournaments ago, which was one, I think that was one that I was a part mm. of. Um, obviously, DDoSing and so on looks very unprofessional. Well, that was, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, tied yeah. in with the mod gen, yeah. you know, accusation. Okay. So right now, yeah. we might be sailing good. Right? So, so, so uh, I, I definitely agree with the fact that it's very early on. And there is potential for it to actually become an eSport. But also, to chip on on top of what you said, big prize pools for the winners. If they, like, once everything's up and running, everything's running smoothly, and they've had a few tournaments where there hasn't been any issues, like, yeah, if they were to raise the prize, like, to, like, a huge amount of money or something, I think that it would be taken a lot more seriously. But obviously like that... 100,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's, an, that's an insane amount. Of, imagine how appealing that would be to pretty much every yeah, person who PKs. Oh my god, the Reddit be like, oh, eleven dollar membership, hundred thousand prize pool, and they just roast it. Like <laughs> it would like, be scary. Like right as they announce a hundred thousand dollar prize pool, they're like, um, announcing new price membership. <laughs> That's thirteen dollars a month. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love... To justify new expenditure, we have had to uh, raise the price. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think I'm wondering. <laughs> oh wait, go go ahead, Nick. Well, well, I was gonna say if if well when they start to be making more money, which is obviously very soon because mobile is out and stuff. Maybe they're going to do more events such as the PVM tournament you said didn't have uh, <laughs> cash prize. Maybe they'll start doing cash prizes for PVM and cash prizes for getting your skill. So they could venture out like that. Maybe not putting it all into Demo Mode, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Just having different tournaments. Because yeah, Demo yeah. Mode, if you up the sorry, if you up the cash prize, I think there would be more DDoSing and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. That's what I was about to say. Like, um, what else could they do for a cash prize? All right. Pool? Like, they used to have a MVP prize, right? I think yeah. Big, Big Bicep won that one time. And do you, Nick, do you remember any of the other random prizes they gave out? Because we couldn't find they, that info. They had an on stage one. So, last person on stage won 5,000. I, <laughs> oh, I, I remember, dude, that the tournament they announced that, I think it was in America. And the tournament before that, I was the last person on stage. So if they did it before, I would have got 5k. But they yeah. Oh man. One, so like, oh. <laughs> okay. So you, you you guys brought something that that I that I kind of just needed to talk about. So like the first one is is that you're saying if we raise the price, more people will want to DDoS, right? Which I think is true. But um, 
don't a lot of the high end competitive scene for games they, they just bring the people to the play to a to one place so they can compete yes at the very end of it. yeah which is a very key point because that is why i personally don't think the dead man mode is the platform that will become an esport for that simple reason that they will never get rid of ddosing and like these issues if they had like say i don't know like say it was like team of fives and like i don't know there was like 10 teams or something like that they came together in one place that jagex hosted where there's going to be no ddosing etc that is more likely to succeed than you what mean dead the 5v5s is. bro because yeah i think bro. i think that that's what they're they're testing is the viability of like bringing all these people yeah. to one place that, like yeah. kind of just calculating the cost to see if it's as fun as dead man mode is i yeah i just it hurts to see like how far can it really go once you start upping that prize pool how far are people going to go to really try to win that but the, right? yeah but they'll do whatever it takes to exactly win like that's what They're, i'm saying it, like, won't, it won't be an honor fight they if they can ddos somebody they probably will yeah, yeah. as that's as what, proven in the past like you know the all-stars that's why <laughs> the all-stars is kind of happening i think because it's a test for future tournaments to have like a LAN tournament of 16 people, yeah, yeah. 32 people, or 64. And what my my hope, well, <laughs> I'm kind of praying for this to happen, but what's going to happen is they're going to do this tournament, figure out everything like kind of wrong with it, or stuff they could improve on, and then make an ELO system on RuneScape. Definitely, they need that. 64 people to a LAN event or something like that. That would be amazing. And that could Dude, be a problem. Yeah. Thing, you know? That, sound, right, that right, sounds right, amazing. Too. Because and I think that would carry a lot of hype too, to be honest. Yeah. Because, yeah, because what it is players. right now is that like you're you're a good player based on what. What's with these? Oh, oh, you're not talking about yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because like, because like you know you know how like you're arguing about like two of you guys view one person differently in terms of skill, right? So instead yeah. of like just just like having one group think, oh, he's a better player. If you have like a a point system like categories. To define the skillness, then it's less confusing. It's, skillness. It, yeah, it's more like it's a faction thing. Yeah, because yeah. because so, there, so there's way... no excuse for it, really, is there? If there is exactly. an Elo system, dude. By the way, extra note: if they do actually do that, I'm gonna fucking love it. Because as soon as I, I kill it. somebody, I'm gonna be like, thanks for the Elo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. might actually grind for that to be honest. If it's like, yeah. oh yeah, I the yeah, thing is. Because... Like, PK and super fun, but the thing is, it's been so stagmented for such a long time, because PK is the same as what it was when it was first released. You effectively kill somebody, and the reward is their items. That's basically it. Aside from, like, a little ego boost, and if they're in, like, you know, a rival clan, you can shit-talk them or whatever, you don't actually gain anything, and there's nothing to prove or, like, show for, you know, killing that yeah. person. You so make a badass yeah. montage. Yeah, yeah, so, so like, <laughs> I, I think they're... I think there obviously it will be difficulties you know, implementing something like that because we have accounts that have different stats and levels. Dude, is there the God Cell Elo? Oh my God, dude! That's I might go like top yeah. ten at least. So like they need to figure out like the the most important categories to like start ranking. Would they be doing it based on like certain builds or just like macro? There's a lot to think, but the thing is, I think yeah. there's also a lot to grow in the PvP aspect, as a lot of people are scared to get into it. I always try to say, just go out in the wild, risk some Varrican robes. It's like, nah, I don't want to, dude. Salad robes, baby. It's like, come on, you do Zara, you get like 40 sets an hour. You just, but people <laughs> don't want to learn, and that's kind of fair, because like when you die, obviously, you got yeah. raced out there shit talking people, so. Uh, <laughs> no, dude, I don't. I, it's just a big part. It's just it's the only gratification you can get currently. But yeah, but well, you know, talking about shit talking, dude. Do you think BMing, bad mouthing should be allowed in the tourney? Because I saw at the last one, be like the last area for Deadman mode, the guy like talked hella shit and then like gave him an emote as another dude dropped. And yeah. Even like final eight, should that be? Of course you should, man. It's a video game. What? You no, you should be able to do as you. Pl it's it's a like professional tournament, dude. You gotta pay. As long as you, as long as you're not there. Do. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's not something which is just like stupid, racist, it or something. Stupid. Like, like how yeah, stupid like, are we talking? What it's, what was it? Remember, but it was if it's like get cancer, that's not. A problem. Yeah, yeah. If it's something like that, it's just like. I mean, from server. You you it, but the guy was pretty fucking rude. I mean, I don't know. I think respectful one v ones should be a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a duel, like cowboys. You know, you don't go and you yeah, teabag yeah. the guy when he dies. You're like, yeah, that was pretty good fight. Well, yeah. I mean, like if you dance a Jake after someone dies, like I don't. 
whatever. I don't like, want to teach rice to PvP, dude. You can be dancing jigs everywhere. I mean, people. to be honest with you, <laughs> like, <push> Jagex <laughs> could easily solve that issue by just making it so when they spectate the fights, they don't see what they type. Do you know what I mean? So you can't yeah, see yeah, what they're they typing. Could, so, they but I don't think they should filter people for saying just like, you know, if they BM them and it's like in a funny way or whatever, I don't care about anything like that. If it's something which is really stupid, immature, racist, or anything that's like really actually that's offensive, what I'm saying, then though. yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, they could just turn make it off. Skin yeah. crawl, right? It, like, yeah. they could just that turn be allowed? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, why, why they could allow do that. people who are that shitty into a tournament anyway? Like, if it's really oh, well, that bad, well, I'm not talking about yeah. like a C or a sick kid. That'll make everyone low, but yeah, like, yeah, but shitty... yeah. Well, I mean, it's that's... It's easy to fix, though. Yeah, just turn off the chat. I mean, that's part like, of the issue. Of the... Sorry. The that's that's part of the issue with demo mode, is that, like, it doesn't take much to be well, the winner is... in the sense of, like, to qualify. It only takes, what, like, eight hours? And you can do that the day before the server closes. It's not it's... taken seriously as an eSport as of yet. And I don't know if demo mode ever will make it there. But RuneScape itself definitely has potential to well, get there. Well, that's the I thing. Think. That's the trail to becoming an eSport is to... Uh kind of <clears> set these boundaries by having yeah, yeah, no, well, it, make sure no yeah. dosing happens re you know re yeah. like they used so to have this not. rule like if you were caught being a piece of shit in the wild or something that you were not going to be allowed into the tournament right i don't know if they even uh i don't, I don't know that's a bit too that's a bit that's, they said like far. something like that about to try to get the what, what i'm saying well, what, what i'm ever trying to say on. what i've been trying to say is if it's like in the competition all they got to do is turn off the ability to, to chat Simple like, fix. I guess if you're viewing it, yeah. I guess because there's no it, but... reason for two, the two competitors before they fight each other to have a good talk or a bad talk. There's just no reason. Yeah. You never had a talk, man, before you slaughtered oh. somebody? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. That's the fun part. Hey, dude, get a fight. I love to talk before you slaughter someone. Dude. Come up yeah. somebody. No, I mean, like, in, in the die. actual... No, but that's fine. That's in the wilderness. We're talking about, like, an actual... Yeah, dude, he, he, he's... Mate's over here chatting yeah. it up. See? <laughs> Because they've now got chess that you can have like access your bank. There's a lot of people talking like looking at the other person, and be like, "What is your gear?" Clip <laughs> 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 of a uh, robber. Uh, the dude was like, "Yo, do you have any food?" Because I saw that. That's super nice of him. And Robert gave him brews. It was wow, really dude, Robert's that dope that dude. should have been MVP right there. That should have been five grand <laughs> straight to Robert. Holy shit. Yeah, you have an MVP prize, whatever happened. Oh no, yo, Let's yo, award people, prize yeah. for sportsmanship. There you go. Yeah. yeah you, oh, five thousand dollars for being a good sportsman. Go one sec. Hello. <laughs> Dude, someone's like hammering something into a wall in my house. Sorry, I've, I've also been knocking yo. at the door. I got that. Yo, you got a wood, you got a woodpecker pet, bro. Right. So, branching off from that a little bit. Um. So I don't. I don't think that it has to be something PK slash PVP related for it to be an eSport. But, like, for example, King of the Skill, as you guys can see here. Could this potentially be an eSport? Because this can be taken just as seriously oh, as yeah, PVP. So many. But I, I think, think it wasn't it, as long. Ten hours mm. is... I mean, it's hard to kind of maintain and watch, but the, the strategy builds after ten hours. So no, I don't I know. Do Think about it this way: Have you seen Have you seen speedrunning communities for like? Yeah, dude, I love speedrunning. Yeah, yeah this no, I do. Killing is pretty much or or quest because uh, people have thought about speedrun quests, but it doesn't matter. They it's have actually. They have huge for speedrunning because if you've seen Wooks play during King of the Skill, like it was actually pretty exciting because literally every second of his play was not wasted. He yeah. he literally planned out the whole like ten hours a day. <clears throat> so it was, it was actually insane. I agree. The total so. 10 hours a day is dope. I'm just saying, yeah. if it's I don't know how like they an actual eSport yeah. and like Root and RuneScape were to like maybe get top five skillers and have them compete for like an hour of skilling or something, you know, see what they could do or yeah, whatever. And, and, and the it best wouldn't part be watchable is, 10 hours. But the yeah, thing is, right? the, be like, the best part is there's sites like Crystal Math Labs that tells you how efficient somebody is in terms well, of skill. Well, from a right? tournament status so you can't just have all these ongoers just checking crystal meth labs they want to watch a tournament like a 1v1 yeah or something like that but, if it's gonna be yeah yeah, yeah no but status, like they, i'm saying be watchable on stage i'm saying they can grab the data so they can see yeah. who is a legend oh, okay yeah like, and they can invite yeah, that's what i'm saying yeah, like exactly. Yeah, so they should have that, like attorney version. That's like bear in mind. I think am I correct in saying this? They've only done King of the Skill once. Am I right in yeah, saying that? Yeah, they've only done it once. Yeah. 
compared compared to the various pvp events they've done but i think a big part of it comes down to would this succeed in terms of popularity because obviously rice cup yeah. you're a skiller you're very passionate about this stuff and you would happily watch this but it needs to be something which is popular yeah, yeah, enough yeah, yeah. that it's going to bring in an on audience a, you know on a scale yeah. outside of runescape right Make, have you ever yeah. tried the king of the skill mate <laughs> um no i didn't really watch much of it either so so what you guys are saying, I don't think it would have that much of an audience. I think like PvP championships are very easy to set up and they're relatively quick as well. I don't yeah. know how, how we could have kind of a, a good to view skilling tournament because I don't think it's necessarily maybe that interesting to watch. Obviously, I'm mainly a PKer. I do have a hardcore, but I'm not like a super efficient person. Every super efficient person is going to hate me now. But I huh. don't know how kind of, if you're a random person, and you were to watch someone skilling very efficiently, would that be entertaining? Yeah. They just have dude. to hire the right commentator, dude. You know what I mean? Just dude, like, like, the, like, yeah, 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 shit, yeah anyways. Like, and he cuts a tree, you know? Yeah, yeah, the trouble I see with it is, sorry for cutting you off, if I can just say this one last thing, is like, what is more entertaining to an audience? Like the commentator being like, oh my God, he's cutting teats, four ticking teats. He's getting 130 KXP an hour compared to, hours oh, in, compared to, oh my God, skill specs just DH bomb somebody, you know, from full health. It's like, which one is more entertaining and which is going to grasp the audience more? And I guess it just comes down to popularity. Yeah, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that like we can have say multiple different, right? Because like, that's what they've done is. They wanted to experiment on the different <clears throat> styles because they even did PVM cups, clan cups, which was a lot of it was PVM based. Yeah, they just kind of show the picture of the clan cups. By the yeah, way. they did. They did. They've they've exper They've been experimenting the whole time, right? Like you know, they did some skilling. They did some PVMing based stuff. A lot of PVP stuff. Obviously, demo mode and and I think a lot of it just came down to assessing which one of these. They like they've already been thinking about it, right? Which one of these routes. Yeah seems like the most viable and obviously at the moment for them it's definitely demon mode that's why they keep reiterating it every single year a few times a year but but i'm but i would i would i would say that in the future if you know this player base of ours keeps growing and, and we get like just more clout in competitive scene it's like they can start expanding on a few things right because the like, skilling is a huge <clears throat> part of this game I agree. So there, once there's enough, people, yeah. yeah. Once there's like enough people and all that getting into the whole uh, esportness of RuneScape viability of it, and like people start accepting that, they can definitely start branching out and do a few. Yeah, like, I agree because stuff. they could definitely like bring in the mobile yeah. viewers for like, oh, dude, what what are these kind of strategies and how these people are doing it? But outside of RuneScape in general, it doesn't seem like it would try to drive people in, but it could definitely. Yeah. Catch yeah, not the mm -hmm. eye of other people yeah. in the not community. not not like I'm saying they should do King of the Skills again or something like that. Like oh, you hear that, skillers? skillers? <laughs> <laughs> like, just just in the future, if they're if people already kind of accept the whole esport viability of, I think it was just something to make Reddit happy. To be honest, I mean, I think... oh, I'm sorry. go no, go for it, man. Well, I was gonna say I think they should still do like King of the Skills because at the same time you don't want to just be like. Ah, uh, skilling didn't do well audience-wise on Twitch. Let's just scrap it. I think they should still do it just for the community, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Make sure, like everyone's involved. You know, like we're not just saying buy skillers. We're only going to cater to the PVMers and PVPers. You know, I think they should still do it because it is it is interesting once in a while to see kind of what's going on there and how efficient people are and stuff. I still think it is a good idea. Um. So yeah, don't get me wrong on that. I I, I would like to see it in the future again, but. I would like to see some kind of like RNG mixed in shit, like how much GP can you make in ten hours? You know what I mean on a brand new account. Yeah. I would, I would try that. Yeah. I would try some of this other <laughs> stuff in there. Skilling wise, people like roast me when I try to catch chins, and I can't deal with that shit. To be honest, it just hurts my self esteem. You know they come in, they're fucking mean. Like I just want to like, drink and catch chins, and they're like, why aren't you four taking this shit? I'm like, I don't know how to do that. Do any of you actually watch any like professional esports? Any of you? Uh, Overwatch. I um, do. Yeah. Do, do you know how how long do the tournaments usually last for? What's the time span? Quite a few hours. Uh, I think CS, for example, goes at least it's days. gotta be. And there's mul it's multiple days too. Like for Overwatch, yeah. they have different days and different leagues. And they the thing is, RuneScape. I've been watching each tournament, and like sometimes they'll have like a pause in between, or like it's not really flowful. But the last couple ones, especially the last one, 
Uh, it was just like action every second. The camera angles were still a little scuffed. They might want to try to hire someone for some really better camera angles and shit on uh, some of that. But other than that, it, w it went really well. It's just only one day, though. With All-Stars, I'm wondering how they're going to fill that in-between time. Probably with just like webcam movement of the streamers, to be honest, why they invited them. I'm going to assume what they're going to do is, because I think we do our first few fights and then they'll just go to commentators. And do more fights, go to commentators. And I guess our resting time will be in between fights or something. Because it, they said I think it will be around six hours, like four to six hours or something of fights. So it's all going to be in one day, which will be pretty really? intense. Really? They're not spreading yeah. it out? Oh my no, god. it's all in one night. So it's going to be very intense. And maybe that could be a thing in the future. They think, okay, we made them fight a bit too much in one evening. Let's spread it out over a few days. That could be a thing in the future. But for Deadman Mode, it's it's pretty easy. You know, it's, it's a... How long is the final hour? Well, now it's like two hours, but you can still fit that in one Jeez. evening. Yeah. Whoever has um, the best stamina is going to win because six hours of PKing <clears throat> and high pressure situations are going to take such yeah. a toll on your brain. I mean, oh obviously, the people that PK a lot, they're going to the best. Maybe. Chance, I so. think the people who stream the most, to be honest, because they have more dexterity. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're used yeah. to chat, PKing, <laughs> they do it for long hours, and they're used to a crowd. Uh, people who aren't used to a crowd and just. <laughs> Oh my god. The thing yeah. that Rubik's for is, for example, he's got Ditter, who is, he's got quite a big ego right now, yeah? And he's <laughs> no, going he to be, right? be on stage in front of a lot of people, so if he messes I'm up, not... that's going to be a lot of pressure. Yeah. Is that <clears> what he looks <throat> like? <clears throat> that's him right there. <laughs> he's also <laughs> not used to crowds. He's never played on stage. Yeah. So, like, if anything, you guys actually have an advantage just from I that fact. I see the mind games, boys. I see the mind but, games. Who's yeah, manked up against? Who's... Dude, I was gonna say manked has a the really. This is the worst group because Frames a good oh. PK, Boaty's a good PK, Skidler PK. Don't don't don't. Yeah, no wonder you, you have some... training, mate. You gotta. I mean, he yeah. does PKing every video, bro. Like this guy. Well, the knows... thing is, he doesn't do yeah. hybrid PKing, but he's been practicing. I've been watching. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm... I mean, the the. The two groups, the two groups I think which would be like the best to get put in for like Manx, for example, would probably be Group Three and Group Two. Like whatever uh, sick <laughs> the, These are like the two Iron Men group, and these are like the PK groups. It's called Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I really this is gonna be good. Out, the the way the way go for it, Vic. The way that I see. Oh, sorry. Go, no, 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 go for it, man. Yeah, we already said. <laughs> Okay, so I, the way that I see, like, the King of the Skill, Demo Mode, All-Stars, etc., I, I think that it's a very good, it's like a feeler tactic. So they're just feeling, you know, how people are reacting to it. You know, they get a lot of hype. They, they basically need to find something which is entertaining enough that's going to pull enough people and they will be able to structure it in a manner which could be an esports. Because, like I said, I don't think Demo Mode, the way it is right now, will become an esports just because I think there's too many variables and there's too many issues with it although it's very entertaining they shouldn't stop doing it because it is entertaining but like in terms of like a ranked structure it needs to be something like all stars but it needs to have a lot more people and maybe like a period of like say if they had like a week where so many people went into it you got divided into groups and then it was done over a certain amount of days mm -hmm. and it would basically be like you know the finals semi-finals etc and then get down to the very end of it and this is like this is the final right here I think that structure would work a lot better in terms of an esports. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go I for mean, it, mate. And no. this, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, let like, me, if, sorry, if it's sorry. an idea, I'm mate. Sorry. Ah, dude, hash that shit, boy. Hash that shit, come on. Yeah. Do you want me to go? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I think one huge thing which will make this tournament very successful is, you know in demo mode when you're watching two people fight and it's like, um, Turtle789 versus... Um, you know, one's got a DHX, oh, no, other dude's got like full yeah. granite on, yeah. yeah. But you, you don't know who the players actually are, do you? So you kind of just like, you don't know who to root for, and it's just like, eh, whoever wins, we don't really care. But this, you have your favorite content creators, you know who you want to root for, you know who you want to win in the fight, so the fights are just going to be so much more intense, and as an audience, I think they'll enjoy it a lot more. Yeah. And then, uh, it's like other esports because other esports you have players that you really like you have teams that you really like that you root for the so personality that, yeah in a that aspect i think <clears throat> it will be very successful just because people will know who's playing they'll know who they want to win 
and yeah, that'd be really cool. And it, it'd just be like a, a sick event. And that, and that kind of ties to what I was gonna about to talk about is that like people starting to know other PKers now because when you go to Bodhi's stream, he's fighting like apparently one of the best. You're like, I don't know who this guy is, so you watch a couple videos, you see his clicks. Now you're kind of a fanboy of this dude, right? So this All Star is kind of opening it up to other PKers to get well known because everyone's training on somebody and they're all streamers. So I'm beginning to know some of these PKers. So if they do have a next All Star and they invite some of these really top tier PKers, they'll probably actually have a bit of a fan base built up from the previous training with the other All Stars, which I like. It's it's a good opening for the first one. Uh, yeah. I'm just I'm excited for the pure one v ones, dude. Should be yeah, fun. yeah, but like just just think of this PVP All Star as kind of like beginning of something big but yeah. they definitely need to kind of develop some sort of system right like a rank for like a real real level you know like a true uncontested esport level right they, they definitely need some sort of system they had this dueling arena thing back in the day where you could uh 1v1 and you have a huge prize pool and it'd be like a tournament i think they might be looking into that and they're also looking into changing last man standing i believe um, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about that, but I was talking to some streamers with, and they had ideas they were pitching to people about Last Man Standing, how to make it better. And um, I'm excited for that, to be honest, because that game uh, just seems like a big drop, and it just it could be so fun. But back yeah. to esports, though, they hmm. they may be having some rank elo in the future. I'm sure everyone's been talking about it, to be honest. Yeah, they they're gonna need it. They're gonna need it because, like, with the whole like, oh, having someone to root for. Because if you have an elo system, it's very see who's at you the top. You can grind that, yeah. And then when you bring it. those guys out in the open, you know, like know who they are, then you start kind of get attached to them, right? So like you you invest in like a particular player or a group of people, and then people will have a good reason to come and watch, right? Because they have these their favorites in their <clears> team <throat> or whatever, or their favorite players. Yeah, just like in any any other competition, you always get your uh, you know. I'm getting excited for this Evo, man. I hope that, they yeah. kind of make something like because I go around the wilderness trying to find one v ones, and let me tell you, there ain't no such thing, deep wildy, man. And it's just fucking sad. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I cannot wait for that. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, a really good idea though, since we still have main queue, dude. What do you think they could also add as an esport to RuneScape? Are they missing anything? You know, PVM skilling, PKing wise, anything in there they could actually add. Honestly, I think the All Stars is a really good direction, and maybe starting it off as 16 con content creators, and then in the future making it 32, and then in the future making it 64. Kind of having like a Dead Man Mansions, but an All Stars event. We're sweaty yeah. basement dwellers. Yeah, I love yeah. it. So you get like 32 <laughs> or 64 content creators somehow in one area, and then you have a tournament over a week or something that keeps the hype going. I, I think more people would talk about it potentially just externally because they're like, oh, what's this week-long event on Twitch doing? And then people would be like, oh, RuneScape, I used to play that and then play it as well. Um, I think that would be a huge thing. Um, and I think it is, because of the rooting for people, I think that's kind of the best move for potentially doing esports. Rachel, are you going to this thing on Monday? I am, yeah, but I don't think we're allowed to talk yeah. about it, dude. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Yeah, we don't know what thing. I am, dude. Okay. I'll see you on Monday, man. I'm really looking oh, forward dude, to I'm it. I'm going to have to know more about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no nothing's happening on Monday. Don't worry. Um, it's a thing, uh, you know. Like, I wasn't invited. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's just, I think, yeah, the rooting thing makes more people want to watch. They're like, they yeah, support yeah. them the entire time. And in the future, if they can make it more, our community is probably one of the closest communities out there for any game, I would say. Yeah, we definitely. We all know each other, and it's just like, as a community, we're very strong. So if we had a big tournament, there'd be a lot of people watching, a lot of fans, and it'd just be amazing, I think. So continuing in the line of all-stars, but having more people, and then in the future, obviously, getting the best PKs if we can make an ELO system would also be very good. Uh, just do like a, an occasional that would be all-stars. Fine. Yeah. Would, yeah. So like what yeah. what I've taken yeah. away from this, I think as soon as they find the right platform, I think All Stars is a really good direction to take it. As soon as they find something which works and it could work as an eSport, like add on from there and develop from there. Because I think this right here is gonna succeed because of the popularity of the people playing. But for me personally, for it to be taken seriously as an eSport, 
and this isn't to discredit anybody at all i i'm friends with basically every single person on here on this screen word fights but okay if <laughs> if they if they were to make it instead of like the content creators of people that are popular yeah. and i don't know how this would work exactly because that might actually be a bad thing but if they made it the best of the best and they made a way of determining who the best 32 players are or 50 or whatever and then they did it like that with the same format i think that could definitely be competitive and also they could add in a lot more money to make it a lot more like you know the more money the more people that are going to want to take part the more people that want to take part the better you get the cream of the crop you know what i'm saying so yeah i think this is the right direction i think there's things that need to be added to it but i definitely feel like this could be built on and i think this could be the way in terms of an esport for runescape yeah uh well that also leads to the question of damage because i feel like the, the fact that is you're not going to be able to bring a thousand players to a lamp no. so there's always going to be some sort of Red down a cop, dude. Uh, yeah, there's always gonna be complications and whatnot. So, so what do you think about that man? Right, I think because it's I feel, something fun to watch, to be honest. I feel like now that you know, I've reflected on the whole bracket system with a potential elo and you know people that we know fighting in that system. It sounds like way way more viable of an esport because then we can also bring them to a LAN yeah, to a LAN party and all that. Gets, I think it just gets the views on YouTube and Twitch, to be honest, for that like month or week and just those PKing videos in general. It's good hype for RuneScape, but like Rakes said, I don't think it's a platform that would really push yeah. RuneScape eSports. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'm saying like going forward, will we just have it even if we do have a real eSport? I think so. I, I, I think as long as they keep doing good stuff like this, like I, I didn't Something play this demo mode, so Mank should be able to inform me on this, but I think any change with demo mode is good change because it, it's only like a time limit, right? So after the week, it's gone. So who cares what updates they implement? If it's bad or good, they can take that feedback and implement it in future seasons. But I think that if they keep doing stuff like this, they keep adding things like, you know, they added the PvP armors in the last season and tournament. I think is it that just temporary? It, I, I'm not sure. Is it temporary, Max? Or is it going to be in future ones? I'm I'm hope honestly I'm hoping the armors aren't in this tournament because it's going to be it make it quite broken. Yeah. But I'm hoping the weapons will be in the future. They're probably just going to miss them for us. Hopefully. Uh, Brilliant. <laughs> so. Escapes the battle, you know. I, I yeah. think at the very least, demo mode should stay, and it should just be something which is changing <laughs> every single season. And at the end of the day, it's just fun. I don't see it being an esport just because I feel like it's just too big to control as an esport. But for exactly. fun, who pl yeah. you play video games for fun, right? That's it. It's entertainment, what? and you want fun. So I, I think demo mode should stay around. Here, man. No <laughs> <game>. <laughs> this is real life. If I die, I die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But yeah, yeah um, that's question what I for Mank, though. Yeah, question for Mank. So you you pretty much participated in, in pretty much every demo mode tournament, right? So is you feel like there's still some glaring flaws in the in the system, the overall. Demo system, despite all the different changes. Good question. That, like, um, there needs is, to be changed. There are still quite a few things. I think probably one of the biggest is um, changing it from 128 people getting into 1v1s to 256. The reason for this is at the end of it, it's pretty much whoever's got the biggest team running around and killing everyone off, right? Yeah. Um, if they made it 256, not only would solo players be able to actually get into the 1v1s, it would also force clans to really fight each other and kill the hive members in those teams. Because if you think that you've got, uh, what is it, you got two, you got, there's like 280 people and your enemy, enemy clan has some really dominant people, you're just going to tell your team, boys, rush, kill those people because we can't have them in the 1v1s. I think it would be sick. Um, so 256 people that is for the 1v1s is kind of like a big update I wish they would do. Um, do you think they will though? Because okay, so time I, restraints, I, I don't know, right? Well, I, I feel like they can make it longer if they want. No, it's a one day the, thing, right? Because the thing is, the time restraints, it wouldn't even change anything. Because the last, like, what, 15 minutes is pretty much just people in multi chasing people down. That's basically just another 1v1. You know, it well, it could go the other way. way. And that whole yeah. strategy could work against you because since there's so many people going in, maybe everyone will be really docile instead of trying to kill. Yeah. So, okay. So yeah, that's the one. Work either way. That might be the one issue. Is like. I doubt, yeah, yeah. Like that. Because the thing is, if because I've, I've played like every single one, 
if when when I've been solo thing in solo once, um, and I was climbing through clans, if you're in a small clan, you're never gonna get in to the one v ones. Yeah. Or very unlikely, and that puts off every single solo player. Like no solo player wants to play demo, but okay. if you can have I a agree. chance to get in, then you might play. I, example, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I feel like I feel like the pros of two fifty six. Like you know, in the, uh, I guess it'll be one v one format is outweighs the the negatives. Cause like the real negative I see in having more people enter into a like an artificial one v one is just that if you get your clan members, you might like hold down the you might not fight, but I'm sure they can just place a mechanic where they have to fight. Yeah, you know what the, I'm saying? the area is so small that you kind of have to fight. I don't think any people would be like, boys, let's just sit in this corner and just hide from them. Yeah, like exactly, because, like, they'll be, like, four squares away from each other. Yeah, no, it's so, like, you're, you're so close. So they can input, yeah, exactly, they can implement a rule where if, like, you're docile like that, like, then you can tell they're in the same time, they'll kick you, like, you mean? Yeah. We'll have, like, arbit arbit people that, that can just kind of, like, decide, you know <laughs> what, you're not going to kick you, it's either you fight or, you ha or we'll kick you out of it. Yeah. Something like that, they could implement a system. Make it easy. Yeah, I'd be all down for a longer one to be honest. I just don't yeah. know if they'd implement it, but I'd be down because yeah. um, as a solo, I just have not played a tournament in so long. Exactly. Because of that fact, right? I know yeah. people are going to be stomping my ass, <laughs> and it's not streamable in that last couple hours. So it's well, like... yeah, no, two two fifty six is very fair because uh, wait, if you kill somebody, right, in one of the brackets, you can get their stuff. Is that what it is? Yeah. So, so it gives you a chance. So, like, let's say you know you didn't, you weren't able to get as funded as much because you don't have a clan, but if you still beat somebody early on because of skill, then you can grab their stuff, and then you have a better. Advantage. Okay, so here's something I'll throw in. What, how do you guys feel about if in st they just took all of the Morty crap out and they just made all those players that are online one v ones from the get go of the final hour? That might be a week of fighting, but I'd be down. Um, <laughs> don't... Uh, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. But it makes, so it, long. it makes it a bit more competitive if each clan can snipe players from enemy clans. I think it makes it a bit more interesting because if it's all solo, if it's all just one v ones, it's basically just a PVP championship, you know? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. You, for Dead Man, I think it's so crucial that they don't make it who's the best TK wins. They make it so anyone can win. You know, you don't have yeah. to be the best TK to win Dead Mode. You just need a. You can get a lot of RNG and you can win. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah so, because it's, yeah. it's a survival. You know, it's a survival. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's just like, yeah, it's nice. Well, yeah, the, re the reason I mention that is because, like, obviously that's completely different from any tournament we've had in the past. Like, that's an idea which is very game changing, but very promising. It, it's like if that's just done for one tournament finals, like a tester to see how it goes. Because I, I feel like say. You know, say there's 2,000 people in the final hour. I know it's not usually 2,000, it's a lot less. It's but like that 1500? means something like that. But that would mean that after the first 1v1, half of the player base are eliminated. And then after the yeah. second, there'd be 500. After the third, there'd be 250. And then you'd be straight into where we are now, effectively. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that'd be really... Like, th this is the thing with demo mode. This is one of the reasons that I think it'd be an eSport. Is like, imagine there being a 1,000 fights happening at once. And like yeah, yeah. having to commentate and like go over the fights and like I, I think that's just impossible. I, I don't think yeah. with that format it's yeah. ever gonna work. Um I, I think I think we've already kind of foregone the potential of Dead Memo being an eSport. we're just saying like just to make the Dead Memo um unique like you know Dead Memo is just unique. It's unique. We don't really consider eSport. We just there's a lot of hype like, around it. So an event, it. right? Like a seasonal event. We're just saying they, how they we can make this it. seasonal event better, make it easier more interesting for people to participate in it and more interesting for people to watch it because a lot of the mmo like complaints is like oh it's always clan that win right so yeah. i like i like the 256 idea because it, it, it like makes it way more fair for solos and then you kind of just get rid of that stigma of like clan mmo every right because yeah, yeah. like obviously clans will <laughs> make it in but there's will be a good amount of solo get and have a chance to survive so I think a lot yeah, of not as an esport. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're not we're not saying make this an esport, but just like make it better, make this demo better because it's like tradition now. So we might as well improve on it, make it more interesting. Do you guys everybody. think that Last Man Standing, if it gets an update where it's playable again, could ever become an esport on its own? Yo, just call it RuneScape Battle Royale. All the kids, right? <laughs> I mean, 
different uh, weapons, different armor. I mean, it's not like uh -huh. you can just preset it in so it's RNG based, but there's definitely yeah. strategy. There's a buying system. <laughs> and I mean, if it gets updated to the point where you can just like in the first couple minutes, you actually have hybrid gear set up. Yeah. I feel like, like I, I don't think I don't think it'd ever be in esports personally. I think it's far too. What about just a mini tournament? Away? Like here, here's the, here's yeah, the deal. Definitely. You, you, you know, you know, Fortnite's kind of like trying to be like the trying well, it's PUBG, like a... right? PUBG, Fortnite, they're trying to make it happen, right? Well, they have so much money, so like they they they're so confident that they can make it really happen, right? Trying to turn into a like it's already kind of happened. I mean, in a way. And well, the, I don't feel like it's like a true esport yet, but the only reason they can tout it, like try even try, is because they have so much money. That they can well, I mean, ninjas on commercials and shit, dude. Like, yeah, exactly. Because they're just so big, anyways, that they force the esports want. Whereas, like, like, we're trying to prove a legitimacy to an esports. Yeah, I feel like Last Man Standing has definitely some hype about it, though, because it's so yeah. random and so weird, and the strategies can really yeah. differ on what you'd want to do on it. And if it gets updated, that I I'd, I'd probably watch every tournament if um if they had a Last Man Standing one. I just would feel like there could be clan man mode or something. They did that um, at RuneFest like two years ago. They, they had a few last man standing like tournaments thing at RuneFest, and I remember watching them. It was pretty cool. But I don't yeah. think they had like actual money or anything. But yeah, yeah. No, I don't think so. I think, I I think mean, that'd be dope. like last man standing is is pretty much just battle royale, right? Like what they could do is copy all the styles of existing battle royale, except obviously the graphics are ours. It's like a huge fucking our map. system. You know what I mean? Our our like the nature of the MMO makes it already unique enough that even if we implement all the popular like battle royale features into that mode, you're, it's still gonna feel like a, a different game, like a different uh, battle royale with its own uniqueness, right? I think so they could do that. It's just like there's not enough people though. No, right but now. what could be interesting with Last Man Standing is imagine if they took the same concept right now, tweaked it a little bit. But made it so you going as say you go in as like a five man team and there's like a certain amount of teams on last man standing. You have to gather resources together. You have to take risks. Do we want to go for this? Do we want to go for this? I have it multi. Why not? I mean, everything yeah, else I mean, is single yeah, at this point. Yeah, because all battle royales are multi. Yeah. So cool. yeah, exactly. Like, it, like I'd, I'd say that, but like a three v three instead of five. They, they five could do yeah. They could they could do any number. But then if it's a team, it has the team name. So instead of having to say this, like the, the the name of each player, they could just be like, I don't know, Jeez. Team TLG or something like yeah, that. Yeah, going, yeah, I think know. we just made the new yeah. esports. Yeah, because it, yeah, because in that. yeah, it, because in battle royales you can do that. You have up yeah. to a certain amount of people. Yeah, Usually, sure, I think yeah. the limit's four. I mean, I played Fortnite before, and it was four. That's right. Oh my lord! Like get him out of here now. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, I gotta scope the environment, okay, that we live in. I'm just, okay, man, I'm, like, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking for his webcam so I can untick it real quick. <laughs> but yeah, like you have a team of up to four or something, right? Just, just keep it traditional, right? Yeah, yeah. Quiet yeah. that. We'll talk eats, all right? Yeah. No, don't I, worry, I parking. think, I think that would be fun. Like, I don't know if it could be an esport potentially, but definitely fun. Like, if they had teams doing I mean, yeah, last month's really you yeah, know, exactly. and, and they could, and then they could do like a ranking system. Yeah, and they could implement Everybody's stuff from Dead by Mode, like in a in a game of Last Man Standing. I I'll be totally honest, I've never played a game of Last Man Standing. I, I mean, I watched. The so game I've never played. I've one? never played a game, but I like six out of a hundred. They they could <laughs> they could implement from Dead by Mode the the chest things that they put, and maybe it could spawn at like a random point in the map, that's and then a certain do. team yeah. would go yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah. You're so yeah. newbie. They already yeah, that's do what they do, that, yeah. man. I don't, dude. I they, I don't they know. They've the copied. They, they've copied some of the early elements of Battle Royale, but like you know, it has changed, right? Like, because like, Battle Royale gets updated okay, all the time. So. You have to imagine it's from a chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, 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 they I, could do that, man. They they could make it super. They could make it super interesting if they were to. The only trouble is Dragex, the old school Runescape team, is incredibly small. So they have, yeah. you know, if you compare, yeah, they only work. if you compare old school Runescape team compared to like Runescape Free, like you've been to Cambridge, you've been to the offices, haven't you, mate? Like yeah. the amount of Runescape Free developers and people that work on the game, like you're talking like easily ten times the amount of people that are an old yeah. Yeah, ten times, e probably more than that. So we're quite limited to like how much they can do, but uh, I think if somebody like if we keep having conversations like this and people are spewing out ideas, some of them are going to be nonsense, some of them are going to be good. It's just how it goes. Like something may get picked up and they may implement it and be like, "Let's try this." 
you know wild card yeah. why not like what's the worst that can happen i mean what do we talk about here lms ranked um the elo right and then just some kind of cool ideas for esports in the future so i, I mean we... like the e the elo system <clears throat> yeah the should ELO be a system. very important thing for a true potential esport in bra like brackets land like land party the you know like the 32 people bracket right and also have a system so that you can select people using the system right? yeah. based on like their rank and stuff. Definitely. that's what they need yeah and, and obviously you think about the formats like you know, combat bracket but i feel like that's what they need in the future to have a sport yeah it would, it would be a key. I, dude i think that yeah. could be done i i don't think it'd be too difficult to like say if you're a main hybrid and you're then or, or a one defense ags pure like yeah you, say say i'm just gonna go off of like league of legends rank structure you'd go bronze silver gold platinum diamonds uh masters challengers challengers being the highest with 100 people in it yeah. right I think if they made it so that you just gain a certain amount of elo per kill or however they decide to format it, that would even give potential for like one defense 75 AGS pures to be in challenger. But obviously, they'd be fighting against other one defense pures. Like, this is where it could get kind of complicated depending on how many one defense pures there are fighting and taking part in it compared to how many mains there are. I don't know the numbers on that, but I'm sure I'm they could figure that out. Something. Yeah, they could. They, they could do I something. Mean, that, yeah, that's that's the hard part. Is like you know, unlike other games where it's pretty much, um, we don't they don't have combat levels, right? So so for us, we, have we do. Builds, yeah, yeah, and, and and our builds are determined by our level, stat, which is not like at other games. So well, that's could... that's one of the things they have to do is like either split it up into different brackets in terms of combat level or. Just, just don't only cater to one combat max. I, yeah, I think what they could do, because you know the PvP championships, you had 1v1, 5v5, 20v5, 20. They could just do a tournament. You could have three different brackets <laughs> of ELO, uh, and then for you pick a top 32 for each of the brackets, and then you do all the first rounds on one on like a Monday, then the second round for all of them on a Tuesday. Like I think you could you could pretty easily kind of split it up because that's what they did with the pvp championships and i think it went pretty well so um, what type of brackets are you uh so you could like... have a pure bracket you could have a 40 defense 45 defense bracket and then a 70 defense bracket and okay. they could make it so the account you go in with it can be a level three it can be a level 126 but you select which build you're going to fight with and then you get put against someone else who's using that same build. Okay. So no yeah. one has to build three different accounts to yeah. do the three different fights. They can yeah. do whatever they want and have separate mm. elos for those three separate ones. Kind of like a tournament can... world, or if they just added literally. A okay. Yeah. 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 Be yeah. Because yeah, I think I actually we never addressed this. One of one of the issues is is the fact that a lot of times when you make an account to do anything, yeah, it has to be scrapped. So yeah, that that, you can buy one, that is a big issue. Yeah. yeah, that is the issue. No, that's a really big issue because, like, I think Devin Mold is probably one of the weak that people don't want to do it again, you know, so they can get back. Sorry. Yeah. But, like, that's why yeah. we would, but we've already forgone the fact that it's, it's not going to be a true. Yeah. But I feel like for this. Made it, they build an account every so, time. Yeah, exactly. Out, if, like, oh my God. if they were to bring out an ELO system, and I'm asking Manx and uh, Mint Mad Cal specifically because you both speak out and yeah. Rice doesn't. What yeah, kind of format do you think that would work best? Do you think that it would have to go across all worlds, no matter where you are? Like, say you're in World of 350, you kill somebody in the wilderness, you gain ELO? Or it Doubtful. should be like a specific area, almost like a tournament place, where that is where it counts. If you die or kill somebody, you gain ELO or lose ELO. Probably yeah, a tournament, babe. Yeah. 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 It has go to be for specific, it. otherwise it could boost so easily. Yeah, yeah. Well, wilderness yeah. is boost. Okay, and my, my next question would be, do you think that it would be popular enough uh, and how they could make it uh, appealing to PKers in general? Like, Because the way I see it is in the past, I don't know if any of you remember, they had Duel Arena. When they took out away the Duel Arena like, several years ago, they implemented like a Duel Arena tournament or something where you'd, yeah, effect that, you, you'd spend money to go into the tournament and the top three people would win money and then you'd go up on a, a high scoreboard. I think Spark Mac was like number one for ages because he had like a divine and he had loads of money so he had the best gear. <laughs> um, what is going to be different between that 
and what we're thinking of like how could they change that to actually make it popular and people do it because nobody really did it apart from people in max gear i have i have a bit of an idea like you know they could have a permanent tournament world but you can access your cash tag and so the elos are ranked so you can see who's above you and below you with their elo and so yeah. instead of um boosting your account say you're finding someone with a little bit of higher elo well if he loses he loses some right he kind of almost take his place yeah, exactly. depending on how big and small the elo gap is so you can say like do i want to fight this guy do i not but if you don't fight people in a certain amount of time obviously you got dk uh but there should be like a little added square where it's like oh, oh you want to do a friendly couple mil here right Wait, yeah yeah um, wager some some prizes so so, that, so yeah, also so also they they kind of need to split it between like okay do you want to just do a 1v1 elo or is it like a group elo right or or does it I work a group <laughs> elo. i think they should it's just single first so and then just yeah mint, implement maybe a group one mint said something not, really not like interesting there because the way mint just said that it made me think of like somebody in bronze being able to like effectively challenge somebody in challenger and like obviously the challenger person's way more likely to win because you know they're challenger for a reason um, probably not good. would you prefer it was like that or maybe it was like if you're bronze you fight against bronze maybe low silvers and if you're silver you go against silvers low golds you well, be matched? Cause, because the thing is is that you're not supposed to be able to choose who you fight no so, but like, when they randomly select people of your same rank yeah for yeah, you to fight should, yeah it should select the people that are close to you in terms of skills. yeah you should not be able to pick I think you yeah. should be able to pick because because it's like um, say but if you do that you can boost tier, well it wouldn't be much of a boost say you're fighting the lowest rank if say if you're just boosting off the same person they're going to be fucking low rank their account's garbage now right so um, effectively if you want to boost and you'd have that neutral status and you lose your first one you wouldn't get anything no, like, off see, pretty much it, it can't um, it can't work because yeah. in, in this system you're not supposed to be able to pick who you fight yeah because I feel it'll, like you could because it'll ruin the whole point of the it's elo system random, yeah yeah it's elo not, system is based on I, I feel yeah, like it'd be yeah. both dude because in case you want to challenge a friend for their elo the thing is you could apparently boost but if you wanted to you couldn't boost off the same guy for long like their elo would fall so low that you wouldn't get anything off them pretty much like it yeah, would no, stop but giving it, you prizes it, yeah but it just wouldn't work run. though yeah it has to it has to be weird i feel like the yeah, math yeah. is done right they could do it yeah i think a really no good because thing it would it, uh yeah you go you go ahead yeah uh, i think a really good thing about matching your opponent is it would encourage a lot of people to learn to dk as well because at the beginning lots of people right now don't want to learn to dk because the skill gap's so big but if you're only fighting people that are close to you, you're going to slowly improve and it kind of might want to actually try it, you know? Oh, I know I, there's a lot of PVMers that would try it and play it to try and get better. I agree. I'm saying, like, you could have both options. So you could be like, if, you know, your friend's talking mad shit, you're like, you want to go and say his ELO is a little higher than you, just knock him right down, dude. And the thing yeah. is, like, that whole boosting uh, okay, thing. Okay, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> I'll, the way you can't boost what I'm talking. Like, I love the way like, Rice Cup really just came in right. though. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, Rice, yeah, Nate, ahead. you made an entrance. You go, go ahead. ahead. Finish it. Finish no, it up. Gotta, finish it up. Gotta... You gotta do it, Rice okay. man. Come on. Yeah. Okay, no, it's but the thing is, the way I'm setting it up is that you literally couldn't boost off somebody. If say somebody's using an account to boost and they're set at neutral, right, and the math's done right, you're not gonna get any rank off. Alright, okay. You I get could, it. I get it. Yeah, it, you couldn't boost off a single fight. Now, if All your right. friend's like, oh, I'm quitting and I have a higher rank, you could technically boost off him, but if you get high enough, you could maintain it. All right. Th there's yeah. an easy solution to what you want. All right. So, obviously, have have matches where ELO system is applied. So, if you want to get adjusted to have your ELO change, you have to you have to participate in, in the ELO sanction fights where it's randomly picked based on your rank. And yeah. if you want to fight somebody in the same exact build as you, and you don't care about the eels, and there should be an option where you you want to just select somebody to fight, but whatever happens in that fight won't impact your. No, that's not what I'm talking about, man. No, because that's the only way. Because otherwise, it will defeat the purpose of the. How are you gonna no? How are you gonna boost off somebody that won't give you any elo though? If they lost no, you're not supposed to boost. That's the thing. You're well, not. Yeah, you, you shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't all. be able to now. Because yeah. if you boost to a high enough rank, you're just gonna DK anyways, and those people that you boosted off of can't boost anyone else, and it wouldn't even be much of a boost. You went against a guy like two times, you don't get shit. I mean, there's ways where this math could just work. Yeah, but know, like it's so unnecessary though. though. But like, yeah, it'd be badass. The thing is, Mint, the way that this system, if, if this system's done well, 
it like even if there was a way to boost it shouldn't matter because say you get boosted into like high masters or whatever like you're almost at the top if you get boosted there you're gonna then be fighting against people who are actually at that level and you will slowly be pushed back exactly. down to where That's you belong what I'm exactly or you would dk you yeah know, you yeah have but to like fight people your level or you yeah, can keep it yeah but like why would you allow boosting in the first it wouldn't even be boosting though because you couldn't boost high enough You'd be like, okay, say like gold to silver, you maybe could boost the gold off like normal accounts, but you could get no higher off people who just Yeah, yeah, you. but what's the point in that? Well, there isn't a point. You could just fight your friends though. Like say yeah, you but challenge like, people around so you could actually yeah. be like, I want to fight this guy. He seems Yeah, but good. Wh why why does it matter if if Elo has any impact on? Cuz like like my well, my other my proposal was that if you want to fight somebody of any level of anybody, anybody, right? You can't just just you know, actively select them, but that that fight shouldn't have any impact on your elo at all. I think if you did have that challenge option, it would split up people a lot. If you want it to work to have the most active players, you would have to just have one system of yeah, exactly. Thing, I think. <sighs> exactly. Yeah. I I get what you mean, but I I think. But I yeah, mean, it would just contradict yeah. the whole system. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> So I feel brains like you can have friendly, a friendly match, right? You can, I feel like you can still choose a friend, like somebody to fight, but like obviously if they're not within your range, it just doesn't have any yeah. impact. Important question, Chaz. Thank like you. On your elo, right? <laughs> right. It's like you, it's like let, let's say you you're like, oh, uh, well, I might be lower ranked than you, but I can still kick your ass. Why don't we set up a match, right? They can still do that, right? Except the elo stuff won't won't work. Well, this is something that obviously needs to like this needs to be fought out because if this isn't going to yeah. be in the wilderness it's going to be in like an arena somewhere obviously exactly. that that's another issue is that there needs to be some sort of reward and like penalty for winning or losing because otherwise if it's just like a completely safe fight then how does that have anything to do with the wilderness well, if you're not risking well, anything the, the reward will be the elo well, yeah, I said you could do a friendly wager. Like, there'd be a little stakes. I, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, there needs I, to be I, a little I, more than that, than just the Elo I itself. I think if you were forced to fate or forced to do that, not many people do it. Yeah, because, like, yeah, Not exactly. forced, I mean, you could you could ask, you know, because I'm guessing a lot of people would be like, I, like I mean, that, tonight, you so, know? so does Dual Arena, you know? Because, yeah, but, yeah. might as well add on the side. Yeah. But, yeah, here, here's, yeah, go ahead. If you are you brother, you, okay. you're the expert. <laughs> if, if you have staking though, like you have the option to stake, do you just diversify it that much more that there's kind of less people potentially doing it? You kind of just want to have like a, a basic system and I think the only reward from it should be an elo. Like exactly. Right now, right now, I don't PK for loot. Like if I go PKing, I go to PK to have fun. And yeah. I think a lot of the people that would go to this event Again, wouldn't do it for money because you can do more cash, which is easy. Like you don't have to risk any money; you just get pure profit. I don't think people would want to do it for well, money it, or anything like that. It could yeah, yeah. Content though, and, like and think about it on the side. Imagine rank one elo, and you're just like, uh, just doing builds. Like, how good would that shit be, right? If you're just up no. there, you're like, oh, I'm actually maxed. I I ranked my elo up. Now I can start trying to actually win like major money because that's what top players do. They have a shit ton of money. They like the yeah, wager. But they can open up some shit. Again, you can just go to the dual arena. Which yeah, see, that's 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 right the whole purpose. I, I like I, see Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. So dude. so you guys I, I think a lot of you a lot uh, I think I think some of you guys might not understand just how prestigious the ELO system is itself, right? Because the, the long run of, of this idea would be that those who are at the top of the the ranks would eventually be selected to participate in like an esport championship, right? Yeah. Which would get you a shit ton of popularity and a chance to win a lot of money, right? I think I think that's the Elo system itself is already insanely potentially profitable because yeah. it's not just about winning GP because it's so easy to make GP. You right. Make GP well, once. So I want to throw in like the average player base though who wants to learn to PK and once they do they kind of want to because they're not going to be like I'm going to get really good or something. They're like I want to kind of practice and maybe i do a couple wagers every night and see what i can bring home because like the dual arena is yeah, already so packed you... if you have people around your same skill base and you could be like oh you want to wager a couple mil like an option yeah no but i, I think feel like only benefit i feel it. like the elo system should stay away from profiteering okay okay so what There's what you so just said Bryce, make... i think that's really good i really like that idea but that is like 
I, I think that would work perfectly for talking about an esport and selecting like the best players, and I think that would be attractive enough in itself. But exactly. Jagex are talking about implementing an elo ladder for the wilderness for PKers, right? Wait, is that wrong? That would be weird. That'd be weird. That'd be dude. so weird because I don't like that. Staying in clans and stuff. I, I don't think like anyone fun. likes that idea. I no, mean, no, yeah, but I thought the whole point in the elo system was for the wilderness to show that you were a good PK. Maybe a bounty hunter elo system, but they already have that, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do, and like yeah, nobody really cares about it. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean yeah, shit. Yeah, I know, yeah, like that system ranked. cannot work for a PV, like a like an esport, because there's yeah. too many variables, right? Like multi planning, Ooh. all that. It just gets, it just doesn't work for for a, a esport. Right? I I don't know, like I wish I would like the J mod of the wild to be honest, because I oh, I could really how about make that more this? Packed, yo, but... yo, Vim, they, no one about... goes deep will either. They don't understand yeah. the wildy struggles. Either. <clears throat> yo, I have something for you. So you, you're you're saying, oh, why um, why why don't we incentivize people to do it because there might be a reward? How about if you win a match, you get a certain amount of money, right? It's like instead of staking, instead of wagering. There's yeah. like a chance where you can win, like, oh, you, 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 you know, lowest. So now you're gonna bring random GP into the game. Yeah, yeah. Red no. Red no. Red but, real fucking yeah I'd rather not do it at all. Right. I'd rather so, not do it at all. I'm are... just saying. I'm just saying. If that had to be the reason why people get in, then yeah, instead of staking, then just like get. What get if it's like a friendly like 50k for a fight once you get like higher ranked or something, dude? I don't know. I like the whole thing where it's like, oh, I won a couple mil tonight. We got some eat. Got some rank, you know, just kind of walk away with a little something. Yeah, I mean, if you at have the end of the day, if, it's just... if you make it a predetermined set of GP that you can put in, yeah, then very small eh, amount, it might yeah. be okay. It might be okay, but well, what but the, like, what, was, what they could do is they could make stay. it so like up until gold, like until you're in gold, you don't have to pay anything to to gain elo, and then once you get to gold plus, like say for gold, you have to deposit like 50k, platinum 100k, masters. 500k than a mil for challenger because the people that are in challenger are going to be that good anyways the money it you know it doesn't really matter and it's not about the money it's about the rank either yeah, yeah but i'm saying there has to be some sort of reward on top of it just being the elo i don't think that's appealing enough in itself exactly. i don't want it okay, to be well, dead content well yeah i know i was really concerned about being able to stake as much as you want because that's just like dual ring. no it shouldn't be like that it should be a yeah. set amount yeah if it's, a, pre yeah, if it's yeah. a set amount then i'm 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 probably okay with that because then it's like not too yeah. big all right well that, that sounds exciting to be honest it does guys by the way for people that are watching this live on youtube if you have any ideas that you can build on from this feel free to let us know down in the comments we're just brainstorming I would, ideas I like i'd like to know chat like what would you think a new esport to runescape could be or what's your favorite esport if you're just so fucking lazy like what are the components for a true esport for we're talking about elo we talk about having people be in a land party uh, and also brackets like different level combat brackets and also how many people participating and all that stuff yeah, in a whole, I think esports in general is like actually very good for RuneScape though. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone yeah. Everyone skilled their PVMs, it still brings people in. So, I want to watch it builds people up who are skillful. Uh, and there's a ton of opportunity out there, not just the cash, but like as a content creator, you can just build yourself up. I mean, yeah, all in all, good, good stuff to have. RuneScape. So, if this elo system is built for esports to pick out like the best of the best, I think that's perfect. I think that would yeah. work. I think that's actually a really smart idea um my understanding though see i thought that they just wanted to make an elo system for the wilderness like i thought they wanted it to be more that competitive be in that time. sense is that not something even, they spoke about or even rice though? knows that'd be a waste of time yeah it'd be a waste of time I mean, yeah because i was There's gonna say I, variables in the wilderness. I i don't think it'd work in the wildy but in this sense it would especially if they yeah. are aiming towards esports it's more competitive when it comes to runescape I think yeah, 100% the shit that's, the, would be that's right. If Elo was in there, no one would want to Cause die. Because, like, like imagine, mean... right? I, imagine, uh, it's just like a theoretical setup for thing. It's like, may, maybe it's it's in edge row or something, but there's like a little portal. You click on the portal, it's like, which combat bracket, right? Like, if you're mid level 45, whatever, max, right? Something like that, right? And then you go in, you click on it, and it's like, do you want to join? You know what I mean? You want to participate in this? and like mm -hmm. you have to forfeit whatever money and then you go in you fight that person you, you either win or not whatever you win you get you get your your points go up right yeah and Both you get and you get a little bit of prize down. cash i would do you know, if exactly. they if they put that in tomorrow i'd be doing that every single day 
Thought she sounds so appealing. That I'd and the LMS that. update, I'm I'm looking forward to to be honest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait. for a little that's, fun, you know, because like I Fortnite with wait. the boys, right? L yeah. LMS with the boys. Dude, for real, because the wilderness is like I start out green dragons and there's nobody, dude. Like it's been so dry, and I can't even get people. Like if you're making a purity, go for it. But I can't even say you should. I mean, it's at this point, it's all about revs, dude. You know, it's all about yeah, revs. It's all about revs, baby. Right, boys, I absolutely love the ideas we've spoken about. I think we've covered pretty much everything yeah, we said. And also, I, I don't want to keep Manked from his practice. I know he's got a yeah, trainer yeah. that's coaching him right now. Yeah, Crazy, dude, win, what dude, the hell? Yell at the yeah, podcast. yeah, give, us a shout out. give your trainer a shout out. Ozarth podcast, best podcast, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. Anyways, go check out main stuff down below, yeah. dude. All right, we got yeah, guess. And I really, I really do like the 256 for fi fi final bracket for Devin Mode, though. I feel like if you. Push it, you should... right, we'll see if any of these updates ever hit. Like three seasons or three tournaments. Now, yeah, just keep pushing it. I think, I think they're more willing to budge per season, though. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, I think they're opening up a lot. Yeah, no, they 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 stupid to not have tried it. Or... Damn. <laughs> Damn, there there it goes, dude. There's our free flight to Jagex, mate. Like, it's over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you no, I just had to say it. I mean, like, holy shit, how do you not think of that already? Yeah, yeah, like, don't forget to buy our Majet T-shirts. Link down below. Uh, it's got a face <laughs> on it, dude. And um, <laughs> PayPal links down below. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, Anyways, yo, Max, thanks a lot for coming on, man. Do you have anything Thank to shout out? Do you uh, want to shout out your social uh, medias? Cut it now. Hey, on. man, we're gonna hook, dude. We're gonna link you down below. Don't worry about it, man. We got yeah, you covered. Yeah, yeah. Check out you, the got a, below. you got a clan you, you want to shout out? Full clan or? Or? I'm in Blazers right now. Blazers. Join Blazers. Blazers. Hashtag so, Blazers. Before everyone's like, what a stupid name. We used to be called Legends, and then we wanted to change something to just trolly. I'm glad you changed it. Are, all the clans are super serious. It's it's like horrible, like serious names. So we're like, let's yeah. just take the piss. We Blazers. Blazers. Re I like. That. Recently, they've changed it to Blazers. It's just to take the piss. Don't judge me, okay? Um, okay. Thank you. And for they have a, me, yeah. Sorry. Yeah.